Happy Sunday to you and your family. It's good to be in the house of the Lord with you today. My name is Pastor Emily, <coughs> excuse me, Pastor Emily Sauer, and I would like to welcome you to St. Olaf Lutheran Church in Fort Dodge, Iowa. Thank you for joining us for worship today. I'd like to take a moment here to thank the individuals who make the worship service possible. Jason on organ, Linda as our song leader, Grace as our assisting minister, Chris as our reader, and our tech team today is Mark and Bob. Thanks to all for sharing their gifts and talents with us. Let us turn our hearts to worship. Though the word Trinity is not found in the scriptures, today's second reading includes the apostolic greeting that begins the liturgy. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the gospel, Jesus sends his disciples forth to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. More than a doctrine, the Trinity expresses the heart of our faith. We have experienced the God of creation made known in Jesus Christ and with us always through the Holy Spirit. We celebrate the mystery of the Holy Trinity in word and sacrament as we profess the creed and as we are sent into the world to bear witness to our faith. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, whose steadfast love is everlasting, whose faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the mercy of God, let us confess our sin. Reconciling God, we confess that we do not trust your abundance and we deny your presence in our lives. We place our hope in ourselves and rely on our own efforts. We fail to believe that you provide enough for all. We abuse your good creation for our own benefit. We fear difference and do not welcome others as you have welcomed us. We sin in thought, word, and deed. By your grace, forgive us. Through your love, renew us, and in your spirit, lead us, so that we may light, live and serve you in newness of life. Amen. Beloved of God, by the radical abundance of divine mercy, we have peace with God through Christ Jesus, through whom we have obtained grace upon grace. Our sins are forgiven. Let us live now in hope, for hope does not disappoint because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hymn 525, You Are Holy. Stay. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, before the foundation of the universe and the beginning of time, you are the true God, author of creation, eternal word of salvation, life-giving spirit of wisdom. Guide us all to truth by your spirit, that we may proclaim all that Christ has revealed and rejoice in the glory he shares with us. Glory and praise to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. After prayerful deliberation, we at St. Olaf Lutheran Church have appointed Grace Braun to serve in the position of summer pastoral intern. Our Lord Jesus, who came among us as a servant, calls us to faith and a life of loving service to our neighbor. You come among us as one invited to render a particular service, a gift from God to inspire us to love and good works. Grace, in the presence of this assembly, will you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility in the confidence that it comes from God? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you carry out this ministry in accordance with the Holy Scriptures, with the confessions of the Lutheran Church, and in harmony with the constitutions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and faithful in your use of the means of grace and in prayer? I will, and I ask God to help me. Trusting in God's care, will you seek to grow in love for those you serve, Strive for excellence in your skills and adorn the gospel of Jesus Christ with a godly life. I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Will you pray for grace, help and honor her for her work's sake, and in all things strive to live together in the peace and unity of Christ? If so, answer, we will, and we ask God to help us. We will, and we ask God to help us. Grace, I now declare to you as installed as summer pastoral intern, Almighty God bless you and direct you in your deeds in peace, and that you may be faithful servant of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, as you called apostles and evangelists, pastors and teachers to instruct, comfort, admonish, and care for us, so you have called grace. Fill her with wisdom and patience, with love and with faithfulness to your word, that she may with gladness teach, comfort, counsel, and guide your people to maturity in Christ Jesus, your Son, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. People of God, I present to you Grace Braun, your summer pastoral intern. Let us welcome her in the name of Christ. Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name 
in all the earth. Second Corinthians 13, 11 through 13. Paul writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, a lot has changed since last Trinity Sunday. Not just the COVID-19 pandemic under which we live, but also the killing of George Floyd, an unarmed, handcuffed black man by a white police officer in Minneapolis. Just a few weeks ago, we learned, many of us, of the, the shooting of Ahmaud Aubrey. But since that time, Breonna Taylor, Dejan Sean Reed, Tony McDade have also been killed. And how many others whose names are known only to their families and to God? Today is Trinity Sunday. It's a hard, it's a hard holiday for us to wrap our minds around. It's a difficult, a difficult concept. But we learn about the Trinity, particularly in today's first lesson from Genesis. In this beautiful song of creation, we hear in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. And a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. And God said, and creation began, Martin Luther put it this way, so also the Christian church agrees that in this description, there is indicated the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Father created through the Son whom Moses called Word, and over this creative work rooted the Holy Spirit. Later, God says, let us make humankind in our image. This is the glorious relationship with God that spills out into all creation. God is not a lone ranger, and all of God shows up, all of God shows up, delighting in creation, caring for creation, weeping for creation, redeeming creation. I confess that I do not fully understand or even have language to describe the mystery of the Trinity. Probably won't until I finish my baptismal vocation and stand in the presence of God. I can't explain how. But I can testify to the great Lutheran question, what does this mean? God is relationship. Within God and flowing from God. Creation is, not, is God's decision not to look after God's self, but focuses God's energies on creation. This Trinity, this God, this relationship is outward and overflowing. God is the one who does not grasp. As we hear in Philippians, let this same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as a thing to be grasped. Likewise, 
the spirit is poured out on us all. Again, what does this mean? God is relationship within God, with the creation, with humankind and among humankind. And since we are baptized into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, baptized into the Trinity, we are also part of this powerful, dynamic, living, giving, loving relationship with God, in God, with creation, with each other. We are inextricably woven together. No one is alone. No one is beyond the fierce, tender love of God. And God is not far off. God is present in creation, in each of us and in all of us. God is flesh and blood made visible in Jesus of Nazareth and in every human being. God is spirit closer than our own breath. And this is how God as Trinity shows up today. God is creator. God created diversity, beautiful, vital, alive. We must reject calls for colorblindness. That diminishes and washes out God's gift of diversity. We in the white majority can begin to see our siblings of color more clearly. We should be color amazed, recognizing the strength that comes with all our many colors. And God as creator made all of us in God's image. Let us make them in our image. That means all of us are a part of this relational triune God who did create all of humankind, each and every one and all of us together in God's image, all. And God is the word made flesh. Our flesh, your flesh, my flesh, George Floyd's flesh. Jesus in his passion still suffers with those who suffer. The crucifixion of an unarmed handcuffed man lying face down on the street is the crucifixion and the passion of our Lord. The crucifixion of so many, too many black and brown people who live constantly with the violence of racism is the passion of our Lord. And God is spirit. The wind, the breath that moved over the face of the deep at creation, the breath of God that was breathed into the first earth creature, Adam. The breath of Jesus as he gave them the gift of the spirit. The breath crushed out of George Floyd. The breath of life God had given to him. And now church, we as the baptized, those of us baptized into the Trinity, show up. We work for an end to violence. The violence of racism that kills bodies and maims souls. And we work for the end of violence brought about by lawlessness and also frustration, masquerading in some cases as protest. In the fierce love of the Trinity, we do not deny anger. In the face of the reality and equity, inequity of racial injustice, anger is appropriate is appropriate but we use our anger to bring about change we put out fires set to stores workplaces churches and property but we ask the spirit the spirit kindle in us the fire of justice we work for calm and quiet throughout our country but we remain disquieted as we search deep within ourselves. We work for peace, but not the passive peace that allows the mechanisms of racism and white supremacy to stay in place. No, the peace God alone can give that gives us the strength and courage to act. The Trinity is a relationship. 
within God, with creation, with us, and among us. Until the white majority feels in our soul that the pain and suffering of black and brown people is our own pain and suffering, it will not be safe to be black or brown in America. And until we feel in our own soul that this is our pain and our story, we are not open to the relationship that God wants to shower, share, lavish upon us as a relational God, a loving God, as a God of the Trinity, as a God who has brought us into that relationship and commands us to share that relationship and live that relationship with creation and with each other. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians ends, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It's actually a promise and I think marching orders for us. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is with us. The love of God is with us. The communion of the Holy Spirit is with us. And together in the communion and community of the Holy Trinity, we can make that a reality. Amen. Him 413, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty.
We continue with the prayers of intercession. I will say, hear us, O God, and your response will be, your mercy is great. Let us pray. Called into unity with one another in the whole creation, let us pray for our shared world. God of community, you formed us as your church. Guide our bishops, pastors, and deacons as they lead the church in these trying times. We pray especially for our presiding bishop, Elizabeth Eaton, and those serving in the church-wide organization, and also our synod bishop, Lorna Hollis, and her staff. We also pray for new connections that will be made between St. Olaf and our summer intern, Grace Braun. With all the baptized, may they be strengthened to share the good news that the fullness of God dwells in and among us even when we are physically separated. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. great. God of creation, you called everything into being. Sustain this world with your renewing care. Instill in us a deeper wonder for the created world you've called good and a greater humility for our place within it. Kindle in us a creative and resilient spirit as we care for the earth and its creatures. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. God of counsel, all authority belongs to you. Encourage leaders to seek wisdom and respond compassionately to those most in need. Further the work of advocates who pursue justice in an often ignored communities, like Chief Seattle, whom we commemorate today. Increase the desire for listening and collaboration amidst rising tensions and mistrust. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. God of care, you created us in your image. May we recognize your likeness in one another, especially those who are isolated or in prison. Protect vulnerable children and adults from domestic violence or neglect. Give courage to caregivers, health workers, and all whose work ensures the safety and well-being of others. Console, heal, and nourish all in need. And today we especially remember before you Harold and Marilyn Wingerson, Gary Widenfield, Curtis Stover, Tim Brainerd, Steve Hall, Steve Quam's family and friends, John and Diane Eveland, Steve Springer's family and friends, Jodine Gasui, Rosemary Stickrod, Renee Powell, Willie Williams, Steve McKinney, Mike and Chantel Early, Donna Smith, John Alstad, Bowden Seahusen, Scott Otto, Teresa Copps, Arlene Dewall. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of connection, you call us to make your presence known. Accompany people of faith as they nurture relationships in new ways. As schools break for summer and activities are canceled or changed, meet the needs of children in our churches and communities. Provide support and companionship for the elderly. Equip our churches to respond to those needing food, housing, or other assistance. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of compassion, you comfort us in our grief with the promise of the resurrection. We give you thanks for the saints of all times and in our lives. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Receive these prayers, O God, in those too deep for words. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will receive our offering for the mission and ministry of St. Olaf Lutheran Church, you're invited to contribute through the PayPal link available in the comments section or by mailing a check to our church. That information will be given to you below. We appreciate your good gifts as they further sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, holy God, for by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness, called forth beauty from chaos, and brought life into being. For your word of life, O God, we, we give, give you, you thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. By your word, you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O God, we give you, you thanks, thanks and praise. praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness. Forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, and the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O oh God, we, we give you, you thanks, thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O oh God. Rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of a world in need. Faithful to your word, O oh God, draw near to all who call on you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Three, the Holy One, increase your hope, strengthen your faith, deepen your love, and grant you peace. Amen. Amen. Hymn 414, Holy God, we praise your name, verses 1 and 4. Go forth into the world to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. 